let's get started <clears throat> so i hope you remember the homogeneous equations there are certain steps to be followed that also explained so let's recollect the steps that are to be followed so first step for us to verify whether it is homogeneous or not what are we supposed to do if a given function f of x comma y is there if we need to verify whether it is a homogeneous function what are we supposed to do substitute lambda x and lambda y we'll substitute lambda x and lambda y then if the final output comes out as lambda power n times f of x y it is a homogeneous fill that space <laughs> homogeneous what sorry equation it's a homogeneous function function okay it is a homogeneous function but here it is not homogeneous function we are talking about homogeneous differential equation then what are we supposed to do then when you substitute f of uh, in the place of f of x y if you substitute f of lambda x comma lambda y then it should come out as lambda power 0 times f of x y to put it in simple terms you should get back the original function if you are able to get back the same thing then that particular expression is what is called as a homogeneous differential function i hope you remember all these points right secondly if you have dy by dx dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y then what are we supposed to do <clears throat> y is equal to vx yes if you have dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y where this is a homogeneous differential Where this whole this thing is a homogeneous differential equation, put y is equal to vx, right? Proceed. After y is equal to vx, what do we do? Differentiate on both the sides. dy by dx will be equal to v plus x into dv by dx. Mm -hmm. Those are regular expression. Okay. So this will be two, and the question itself will be one, since dy by dx is this value. Similarly, dy by dx is equal to f of x y. Then we write. v into v plus x into dv by dx is equal to f of x y then what do we do then we try to yeah, rearrange the rearrange the try, equation yes first rearrange the equation then you will be getting it in the form of variable separables after which we have to integrate right so these are all the steps that we are going to follow and remember this exercise is very important you can definitely expect a four mark question from this so ensure you practice well okay so did we do the first problem no sir we did only examples it's only examples right okay then we'll start with the first problem so this part alone i'm leaving it to you i hope you see with the belief that you people can do i'm leaving this part alone show that the given differential equation is homogeneous that lambda x comma lambda y you people do it let's not waste time on that i'll tell you how to solve the equation but in the exam if they ask you you have to prove it because proving carries one mark and solving the problem carries three marks so 3 plus 1 gives you four if you don't prove one mark is gone okay so x square plus xy is equal to uh, into dy is equal to x square plus y square into dx so then what can we write dy by dx as x square plus y square divided by x square plus x y, right? So it is obviously by looking at the expression we can say it is homogeneous because the power of the numerator terms are two, the power of the denominator terms is also two. Correct? Huh? So put y is equal to v x, which implies d y by d x is equal to v plus x into d v by d x. Question is always one. This is two. So v plus x into dv by dx is equal to x square plus in the place of y. What do we need to substitute? Substitute v x divided by x square plus x into v x. <clears throat> so what will happen? X square will come out common. It will be one plus v square. The whole divided by x square into one plus v. <clears throat> x square is gone. If you observe, the right hand side is only an expression of v. So x into dv by dx is equal to 
1 plus v square divided by 1 plus v minus v, which implies 1 plus v square minus v minus v square divided by 1 plus v. So, v square and v square are gone. So, 1 minus v divided by 1 plus v, that is x into dv by dx. Correct? Huh? Which implies 1 plus v by 1 minus v into dv is equal to dx divided by x. I have applied variable separables. So, this part on integrating, you will get the answer. Add a c to it, that will be the required general expression. So, integration part, I am leaving it to you. I will do it only till this variable separables. <clears throat> Okay, after you integrate, once you get the final answer, don't, uh, don't forget to substitute v is equal to y by x. Because your final expression should only be in terms of x and y. v is not given the question. Okay. Yes, so I am proceeding, so proceeding to the next problem. second. So, solution is here they are given dy by dx is equal to x plus y by x. That is nothing left. 1 plus y by x. Here if you observe, we cannot separate the x and the y terms up separately. Though the question seems to be simple, we cannot do it. Right. So, what we will do is again we will put y is equal to bx, which implies dy by dx is equal to b plus x into dv by dx. So, b plus x into dv by dx is equal to x plus bx divided by x, that will be 1 plus v divided by 1. That is 1 plus v, as simple as that. So, x into dv by dx is equal to 1 plus v minus v. This and this will get cancelled, it is 1. So, dv is equal to dx divided by x, which implies integrating on both the sides. v will be equal to log x plus. <coughs> but what is v? v is y by x. So, y by x will be equal to log x plus c, which implies y is equal to x log x plus cx. So, moving on to the next question. x minus y into dy minus of x plus y into dx is equal to 0. Okay. <clears throat> so, dy by dx will be how much? x plus y by x minus. x plus y divided by x minus y. Again, equation number 1. <clears throat> put y is equal to vx. You can do it along with me. So, dy by dx is equal to v plus x into dv by dx. That is equation number 2. When you put y is equal to vx, we get x into dv by dx is equal to, in this, if you substitute y is equal to vx, you will get x plus vx divided by x minus vx. That is 1 plus v by 1 minus v. So, x into dv by dx is equal to 1 plus v by 1 minus v minus v, which implies that is nothing but how much? 1 plus v minus v plus v divided by 1 minus v. This and this will get cancelled. It will be 1 plus v by 1 minus v. Sir, so, again. 1 plus v square. V square. So, v square, right? Yeah. So, 1, plus, 1 minus v divided by 1 plus v square into dv is equal to dx divided by x. Now, is it fine? So, minus v plus v square. <coughs> So, again, integrate on both the sides, you will get the answer. So, for integrating, the idea is write it as integral of 1 by 1 plus v square dv 
minus integral of v divided by 1 plus v square dv. This is equal to log x plus we can take it as c. 1 by 1 plus v square is tan inverse of v minus. For this, take the denominator as t. Then you will get dt format that is multiply and divide with 2. You will get 1 by 2 into log of 1 plus v square is equal to log x plus c. Substitute v is equal to y by x, you will get the required answer. Okay. Yes, sir. So, moving on to the next part. x square minus y square into dx plus 2xy dy. So, dy by dx is equal to minus of x square minus y square or else I can write it as y square minus x square divided by 2xy. So, x plus v into dv by dx is equal to v square x square minus x square divided by 2 v x square. So, you will get v square minus 1 divided by 2 v. So, you can remember this v plus x into dv by dx is equal to these are the steps. So, x into dv by dx is equal to v square minus 1 divided by 2 v minus v. That is v square minus 1 minus 2 v square divided by 2 v. So again, integral of minus 2v by 1 plus v square into dv is equal to integral of dx by x. So in this state, the denominator as t, that is 1 plus v square as t, the numerator will be log t. So sorry, the numerator will be dt. So it will become the form dt by t, which is this expression. So this is also a chapter which is a part of applications of integrals. I'm moving on to the next question. Solution is x square into dy by dx is equal to x square minus 2y square plus xy. So dy by dx will be 1 minus 2y square by x square plus y by x. Right. When I put y is equal to vx, implies v is equal to y by x. So wherever you have y by x, you can replace it with v. But what is dy by dx when you put v is equal to y? Uh, y is equal to vx. It is v plus x into dv by dx is equal to one minus two v square plus v. So it will be x into dv by dx is equal to 1 minus 2v square. v and v will get cancelled. So 1 divided by 1 minus 2v square into dv is equal to dx by x integrate on both the sides. So left hand side is of the form what? 1 by quadratic. Or you can say 1 minus uh, or a square minus x square. A square minus x square format, you will get uh, 1 by a into, uh, you will get sine inverse of x by a. Sine inverse of x by a. Yes. So, only thing is, you need to ensure that the x square coefficient is 1. So, you need to take this 2 outside. So, it will be 1 by 2 into integral of dv divided by 1 by 2 minus v square is equal to log x plus, see, I am taking it as log c. You can take it as c also, no issue. So, 1 by 2 into sin inverse of x pi. What is a, guys? Sir, it won't be sin inverse. 1 by root 2. Sin in, a square minus x square. Huh? That is root over a square minus x square. 
Oh, a square minus x square is log of a minus x by a. Yeah, yeah. It is one by two a. What is the formula? One by two a. One by two a log of a plus x by a minus x by. Ah, one by two a. A is one by root two. Log of a plus x by a minus. X. So one by root two plus three by one by root two minus two. Is equal to log x plus log c. So this is how you get. Okay. Let's see how to do the next one. So for next one, what are we supposed to do? Even before we rearrange, we need to first take this y to the other side because it has dx associated. So solution is x dy is equal to root of x square plus y square plus y into dx. So dy by dx is equal to root of x square plus y square plus y the whole divided by x. Okay. So this is going to be like this: x plus v into sorry, v plus x into dv by dx is equal to root of x square plus v square x square plus v x divided by x. So what will come out from the square root? Root x square will come out. That will come out as x. So x into root of one plus v square plus v x divided by x. So x will get cancelled. It will be root of one plus v square plus v. That's it. So this is v plus x into dv by dx. V and v will get cancelled. So dv divided by root of one plus v square is equal to dx divided by x integrate on both sides will get x root of a square plus x square. Okay. So with respect to this problem, now look at the seventh one. I'm sorry. One minute. Can you scroll up? Yeah, sure. Right ahead. Thank you. Done, sir. Thank you. So x into cos y by x plus y into sine y by x into y dx is equal to y sine y by x minus x cos y by x into x dy. Solution is y is equal to v x again. So before that, we need to rearrange it, right? So what is dy by dx? Can you tell me? Y by x. Sorry. No, no, no. What is dy by dx? First of all, we need to get dy by dx from this equation. The question is not in the standard form. So that's what I'm asking. So you will have. X cos y by x plus y sine y by x, the whole multiplied with y, the whole divided by x into y sine yes. y. Yes, y sine y by x minus, minus x, x cos y. y. So this is what we are going to get. So in this problem, what we will do is we will directly take. We have y by x in many places. Okay, so we are again going to put y is equal to b x. First, let's do the replacement. If I put y is equal to vx, then dy by dx will be equal to what? Vx into x cos of v plus vx sin v. The whole divided by x is x only. Y is vx 
sin b minus x cos b. I hope there is no doubt in this. So what will get cancelled? X and x is gone. Similarly, all these x will get cancelled because it will come out as a common value. So what is that you are left out with? V into cos v plus sin v the whole divided by v sin v minus cos v. Okay. So this is dy by dx. Let this be equation number one. But so when you put dy, v sin v, where the numerator, v sin v, where? Oh, I missed it. Huh? Thank you. So cos v plus v sin v divided by v sin v minus cos v. Now it is right, no? Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So this uh, thing, but what is dy by dx? It is x plus. Uh, sorry, I'm doing the same. V plus v x. Plus, yeah, v plus x into dv by dx is equal to v into cos v plus v sin v divided by v sin v minus cos. V. So this v will go to the other side. So what will you have? You will have x into dv by dx is equal to v into cos v plus v sin v minus v square sin v. I am directly doing it, assuming that you people are able to understand. So that is, this v will come to this side as minus v. Okay, when I take LCM, we will have v square sin v. Then, plus v cos v whole divided by v sin v minus cos v. I hope it is clear. Yes, sir. Is it coming out as zero? One minute, wait. Hmm. Yeah. So, so v square sin v. Yeah, v square sin v will get cancelled. We will get 2v cos v. Check it. Because when I multiply this v here, it will become v square sin v, v square sin v, and this v square sin v will get cancelled. So you'll be left out with 2v cos v, correct? So it will be x into dv by dx is equal to 2v cos v divided by v sin v minus cos v. Then what is that you have? V sin V minus cos V, the whole divided by 2V cos V into DV is equal to Vx divided by X. So now integrating on both the sides, what do we get? 1 by 2 into integral of V and V will get cancelled. Integral of tan V DV minus integral of 1 by 2V DV is equal to log X plus log C. So 1 by 2 into, what is tan v? Log of secant v minus 1 by 2 into log v is equal to, is equal to what? Log x plus log c. Yeah. Minus log v. Somebody's mic is unmuted, please mute it. So log of secant v power half minus log log v power half. Sorry. Log of v power half is equal to x into c. So what can we write? Secant v divided by v, the whole power half in a log is equal to log x. So secant v divided by v, the whole power half will be equal to x into c. Squaring on both the sides, secant v will be equal to v into x squared c squared. Correct? But what is v? v is y by x. So secant y by x is equal to y by x is x y c squared. So this will be 
Where c square you can treat it as some other constant. Can someone check the textbook, please? What is the answer given? So they are given x y cos of y by x is equal to c. Uh, tell me again, x y. Uh, cos of y by x is equal to c. So, did I miss some minus sign somewhere? Oh, x y cos of y by x is equal to c. This is what you are saying, though. No? Yes, sir. Ah, oh, it is right only, no? See, this is also right. Now what is going to happen is x y. If secant goes to the other side, it become one by secant. One by secant is nothing but cos y by x is equal to. I'll take c c square to the other side. One by c square. This one by c square is some other constant. I'll call it s k. You able to understand? Yes, sir. So both are right. You can leave it like this also. Secant y by x is equal to x y into c square. So this is a good problem actually. Mark it as important. I suggest you all to practice it again on your own. Okay. I hope it is clear. So we'll move on to the next problem. So I'll give you two minutes time. You people try this and suggest what we are supposed to do. Did you all get this? Yes, sir. So you'll get log of cos yes, second v minus cot v is equal to minus log x plus log c. The remaining things you can do. Okay. Next. We'll do two more problems, then we'll go to the next chapter. So y dx plus x into log y by x dy minus two x dy is equal to zero. 
y dx plus x into log y by x into dy minus 2x into dy is equal to 0. y dx is equal to dy into x log y by x minus 2x. So it should be minus x and plus 2x. How is it fine? Yes, sir. So dy by dx is equal to um, y divided by 2x minus x log of y by x. Again, you put y is equal to vx, it will be vx divided by x into 2 minus log v. So, x and x is gone. v plus x into dv by dx is equal to v divided by 2 minus log v. v will go to the other side. So, x into dv by dx is equal to v minus of 2 plus v log v the whole divided by 2 minus log. Sir, minus 2v, sir. Yeah, yeah, changed. v minus 2v plus v log v. This will be v into log v minus 1, the whole divided by 2 minus log. So, 2 minus log v divided by v into log v minus 1, into dv is equal to dx divided by x. Mark it as an important problem. Practice this also again. Tell me how to solve this integral. Okay, the issue is log b minus 1 is in the denominator. So we need to get rid of this log. For that, what I am able to observe is dv by v is what is coming to my mind. Derivative of which function is 1 by v? Log v. Log so put log, log v as t. That implies, so I am integrating on both the sides. Log v is equal to t implies 1 by v into dv is equal to dt. So integral of 2 minus t divided by t minus 1 into dt is equal to log x plus, you can take it as log c. So 2 by t minus 1 is log of t minus 1. Minus t by t minus 1. Integrate it, you will get the answer. So for that, what you can do is, I will suggest you a method. I will suggest you a method. So integral of, see whenever you have the denominator and the numerator's power to be the same, replicate the numerator exactly like the denominator. So let's take that minus out. Minus if I take out, I will have t minus 2 and t minus 1 is in the denominator. dt is there, is equal to log of xc. Let's have it like this. So can I write this thing as t minus 1 minus 1 divided by t minus 1 dt. Now this t minus 1, I will write it separately and 1, I will write it separately. So you will have minus of integral of uh, t minus 1 by t minus 1 dt minus integral of 1 by t minus 1 dt is equal to log xc. So minus of what you have, this and this will go, t minus log of t minus 1 is equal to so substitute t in terms of v, but t is what? Log, log, right? Log v. So you will have log of t minus 1 minus t is equal to log c, xc. So log of log v minus 1 minus log v is equal to log xc. So it will be log v into log v minus 1.
Did you understand? Understand what I did? I took this as A and B as B. So then I should have got V into log V minus one. Did you understand what I did? So sir, log. Sir, can I extend from the part, sir? Which step? Sir, the above one. This uh, log t minus one minus t. Yeah, log t minus one minus t. See, I have taken the minus sign outside. Log t minus one minus t is log x c. In the place of t, I substituted back log v. In the place of t, I substituted log v. So log of this log v minus one, I took it as a. This b, I took it as b. Log a minus log b is log a by b. Yes, sir. Okay, log a by b. I made a mistake. Wait. So a by b means b divided by log b minus one. So this is log of b divided by log b minus one. Right hand side is log x c. So log a is equal to log b. A is equal to b. So b divided by log b minus one is equal to x c. What is b? B is y by x, and this will be log y by x minus one is equal to x c. So rearrange this expression, you will get the answer as per the textbook. Okay. So, yeah, tell me. So can be log b minus one by v. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Sorry. So it is log v minus one. Divided by v is this thing. Then so it will be uh, log y by x minus one divided by y by x. Correct. Uh, this is equal to x c. Now is it fine? So log y by x minus one will be equal to y into c. So log y by x will be equal to one plus y into c. So you can proceed. So what? How is the answer given? Is the answer given in terms of exponents? Check the textbook. Yes, sir. Exponent, right? Exponent. Uh, so no, sir. what? The e power something, no? In the textbook, how is it given? Is it in this format? Here, the answer is c y is equal to log of y by x minus one. Oh. Well, then it's right. Then they have stopped with this step. Yes, sir. Not given. Okay. Okay. Then it's fine. If at all, see if at all they give it an MCQ and they are expecting you to write in terms of exponent, then you can write y by x will be equal to e power one plus y c. Correct? So this will be equal to e power one into e power y c. E power one itself is some other constant. Correct? So y by x will be equal to a into e power c y. This is another way to write in terms of exponents. So this one and this one means the same. See, in order to avoid the ambiguity, what I would suggest is you try to whenever these kind of problems come, write the answer in terms of log or in terms of exponents as well. You will be on a safer side. That's it. But you send this document later on after. Yeah, yeah, we'll send it. Concept is clear, right? Forget about yes, copying. Sir. I uh, concept is clear. Then we'll proceed to the next problem. We'll do one last problem. The tenth one. That is one plus e into x power e power x by y into dx plus e power x by y. Into one minus x by y into dy. So, looking at this problem, what idea are you getting? Till now, dy. Yes. Till now, we took y by x as v. In this problem, we need to take x by y as. By y. Yes. Yes. So, you first need to write it. So, wherever you are taking x by y, then you need dx by dy. So, what is dx by dy?
that is minus of minus of convert minus of e power x pi y into 1 minus x pi y divided by 1 plus e power x pi y. Correct? Now you can put x is equal to y v which implies dx by dy is equal to v plus y into dx by dv by dy. Hmm. That's right. So v plus y into dv by dy is equal to minus of e power v into 1 minus v divided by 1 plus v. 1 plus e power v. I directly wrote it. I hope you understood. V because V is nothing but X by Y. So, y into DV by DY is equal to minus E power V into 1 minus V minus V into 1 plus E power V the whole divided by 1 plus E power V. So V e power V will get cancelled. So what is that we are left out with? Minus of e power V plus V divided by 1 plus e power V. So there is a simple problem again. Is equal to Y into dV by dy. I hope there is no doubt till this step right. There is no doubt. No, sir. Okay. No, so sir. if you v e power v plus 1 divided by e power v plus v into dv is equal to minus of dy by y. So when you integrate, what is that you are able to observe on the left hand side? Denominator as p. Yes. If you, numerator is a derivative of the denominator. So you take denominator as p, then you will get log of e power v plus v is equal to minus log y plus log c. Correct? So bring the log to the left hand side e power v plus v plus log y is equal to log c. Now tell me how to solve this. y into e power v plus v is equal to See, I directly wrote it because this is a, this is b, log a plus log b is log ab, log ab is equal to log c means ab is equal to c. So y into e power x by y plus x by y is equal to c. So this will be the required answer. Got it? So please verify the answer given at the back. Either they should have given this or y into e power x by y plus x is equal to c. They should have given this part. And given the second one. Second, second one, one, right? Yeah, means what they have done is they have multiplied the y with each term. I hope you are confident with homogeneous differential equations. Right? Yes, sir. So, remaining problems, I believe that you people will try. So, remaining problem, I think they, it's, it's the same procedure except the fact they are asking for particular solution. That's it. So, how many more problems are there? 11, 11 to 17. Six more problems. Seven more problems, you people do it. Okay? Any doubt, you can ask me. Shall we start the next chapter then? Yes, sir. So we are done with this. Uh, just wait for a minute. We'll start the next chapter.